Let's check on the Aztecs. Looks like I I, I don't think they've conquered any more land, but I think Leon has. They're still not really converting anything to their culture or religion. <laughs> the Aztecs are probably going to end up assimilating into European culture. Ooh! And uh, King Harscott is dead. Leovercio. So King Harscott has given up the ghost at age 66. He died a natural death, known to be kind. Few had a bad word to say about him. A godly man, Harskett was is with Jesus now. Queen Gwencore, merely 13 years old. The realm is left to the capable hands of the regent and council. Long live Queen Gwencore. So be it. Uh, I'm going to make a bookmark save here. Leo Vercio has been appointed regent, which I actually am totally okay with. Um... And let's see here. So we need to fill our council positions. So let's see who is angry at us that feels like they want a spot on the council. So the Bishop of Langolin, he has a good diplomatic stat, so we'll make him our chancellor. Anyone else who is upset? These guys... He would not make a good marshal or a good spy master, nor would he, so we're going to let them continue to be angry at us, probably. Yeah, so we'll pick these. Um, we'll pick these ones uh, meritocratically. He doesn't like me, but he probably will now that he's my spy master. Yeah, I'm going to probably want to send him a gift or something. And award him an honorary title to make sure he won't join any plots against me. He can be my Seneschal. I can't believe they made Cupbearer a plus five. Um, scheme. Yeah, we don't want any shenanigans happening. Train troops. There we go. I guess we're going to have to refabricate the claim on Somerset. Who is my educator? Educate child. Myself. I want someone with high military and preferably high diplomacy. I should actually focus on diplomacy. Her, her marshal is already high enough. Oh shoot, she's depressed. Diligent, that's good. Greedy and arbitrary are not the best thing in the world. He doesn't have diligent, and he has arbitrary. Yeah, let's let's go, Leo Vercio. I don't think since her education focus is not heritage, I'm pretty sure he's not gonna make us a Visigoth, <laughs> especially at age 15. But yeah. Keeping the crown focus in Devon until we max out our holding slots. Uh, nominate a successor. So, Prince Mordred is craven and has terrible stewardship, which I think is why I didn't make him my my heir before. Um, there's no one with good stewardship and good diplomacy. I guess Halbu, my mother, the queen mother. Yeah, she's actually the best chat. Best. Uh, well, she's craven too, isn't she? Oh, I am left with. I'm left with this. She has zero learning as well. Actually, my aunt here. Doesn't have the greatest diplomacy and stewardship stats, and she's depressed, but yeah, for now, she's also quite a bit younger. Yeah, I'm going to nominate her. And let's arrange a marriage for her. Matrilineal with someone with good stewardship. Kinsmen, how closely are they related? 
let's let's take a look at the fan family tree here. So Gwenthan is I believe he's the son of Yeah, Harscott. And then Hallview, so they're cousins once removed or something like that. Yeah, that's that's fine. We could do that. That's actually doesn't even have to be matrilineal because they're of the same dynasty. And let's go with uh, let's go with prestige. The more prestige I have, the the safer of a succession this is going to be. Oh, I can imprison Gwenthian for what? What is he plotting? Uh, I'm on the wrong tab here. He wants to kill Aglia de Cantabria, who is a meaningless person to me, so I will let him do that if he wants to. Alright, so we will now be playing as... Kylic, oh, she's Irish. That's potentially, well, she's still Celtic culture, but she's of a different culture from the rest of the realm, which could be troublesome. But actually, if she inherits, that might give us a good roleplay reason to go conquer Ireland. So, Does the Count of Dublin have any strong allies? Northumbria, yes, he does. <laughs> we'll see how that goes, though. Make sure my levies have recovered. Yeah, they're about two-thirds of the way back up. So if we ever do get a claim on anything... I didn't inherit any claims, because I'm not a child of... Uh, how actually am I related to the rest of... Okay, so... Arthur the Bear, uh, his son Keredic, who was king for a time. I am his granddaughter. So if you go back to Keredic, whose reign was uh, excellent, but all too short, um, that is whose child we are. Levy reinforcement rate, excellent. The Pope likes us, also excellent. Widespread rumors said that, oh, he's a wicked Pope. He's a bad boy. And he expelled the Jews. All right, so we already have regained our claim on Somerset. Um, and Wessex is... Oh, he's being raided. He's not at war. Let's see what happens. Ah, he chased the Vikings away. I was like, if they kill his army, we could go attack now. Um, but yeah, I want to get a war chest of like 400. Oh, and she died of cancer. She was also severely disfigured, it looks like, and depressed. Which makes sense. Um, okay, so I need to nominate a new successor already. Um, I guess we could go... Well, now Mordred has the Great Pox. Does he have kids already? Oh, no, I didn't mean to do that. I just wanted to see his stats. He has no kids and he's not married. Um... Yeah, I don't think I can nominate anyone else now, can I? Not without pissing Mordred off. That's okay. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it to my mom. I choose my mother as my heir. Weird things that can happen in Tanistry. She is married. I have one brother who died of pneumonia at age 10. And she's probably not going to have any more kids, but that's okay. We have enough. And we have 16 living dynasty members, which isn't a lot, a lot, but it's enough to get by. My spy master is no longer my spy master. Was I told why? No, I was not. Uh, sure. This guy's ambitious, so he's a little bit more dangerous, I think. To us, that is. I don't really want to pick an ambitious spy master. 
What's going on? Let's let's just scroll around here. So Scandinavia is a clusterfuck. They haven't been converted yet, though. It's actually fairly rare for them to accept conversion before 900 AD. The Khazars have become Sunni. Uh, the Yagbuid or Yabguid Yabguid. Actually, I'm terrible at pronouncing Turkish as well. They are Tengri, but ruling over mostly a Buddhist and Manichaean realm. Um, the Arab world is kind of stabilized. Byzantium seems to be in open war with itself. War to Basileus Iostanios III. And Aztecs still doing their thing. And I have a rash. That's not good. Aaron, we is fears that I might be infected with the bubonic plague. Um Well Nobody knows what that is yet. Playing outside and scratching my knees has taught me to act quickly without unnecessarily pause for unnecessary pause for thinking. I lose rowdy, I lose genius, and I become quick. So I've become less intelligent because of my rowdiness. Uh, Aaron clad your bed in wet grass and told you to sleep on nature's embrace against your rash. I didn't even know that could happen. I didn't know you could downgrade from genius to quick through education. I wake up in the middle of the night, my heart racing and my whole body is feeling strange. What was I really dreaming about? Farmer's girl I met earlier. Aaron kissing me, or I should just try to get some sleep. I don't know, he's a... I think, I think he's a pretty good looking guy there. He's, he's very intelligent. Uh, he's charismatic enough. Yeah, let's let's see where this event chain leads. His lips touching mine, my hands touching him gently. I wonder if Aaron feels the same way about me. Um, yeah, it gets me all excited. Let's let's do that. Fourteen-year-old girl uh, lusting after her her twenty-eight-year-old uh, Jewish doctor. That's not uh, not completely un unthinkable I don't think all right now he thinks I have the flu and he said I he consulted the stars before training a good portion of my blood yeah this guy's just he's just a firecracker right here let's see let's let's keep seeking treatment until you get us a better treatment might be pneumonia uh, the wet grass helped that time so Collected a tithe in Devon. Excellent. Oh. Yeah, I have a claim on Somerset, so I should probably move this guy to Dorset. Oh! Also... Oh, I'm in, I'm in a Regency. But once I'm out of the Regency, I can start declaring war willy-nilly, pretty much, because I don't have truces with these two Welsh guys anymore. Also, I want to find out if I declared war on Gloucester, would that automatically call Wessex in? That's another thing I want to think about here. We're making a lot of money. Worrying reports have regard reached your marshal, reached you regarding Marshal Podnulf. It seems he's been using your soldiers to extort money from the peasantry in Devon. This is such a Witcher Three quest. I've been playing a lot of Witcher 3 lately, so, like, I'm sort of framing Crusader Kings in that mindset, and, like, the the Marshal of the Realm that's currently ruled by a 15-year-old girl with a Regency, uh, you know, using the troops to extort money from the peasants, that's totally something Geralt would have to deal with. So, I can get Peasant Unrest until 865 or he's forfeited his office oh i still get peasant unrest either way but this one removes him from office he loses 50 prestige and he'll hate me 
this one, he'll still hate me. Yeah, I'm gonna say he forfeited the office. Make someone else marshal. I'll make, make, uh, Gwethin my new marshal. He can be demoted to commander. And Vikings have shown up. It's been a while. It's been a while since we've seen our friends the Vikings. Apparently they heard we were ruled by a 15-year-old girl now and didn't realize they were still going to get their butts handed to them. When does she turn 16? The Regency will be over in June of 863. Pope likes us. I wonder if the... Oh, yeah, the uh, Viking invaders have started to convert Scotland to the Germanic faith. I don't know if we'll see a Germanic Reformation because they're so divided. Uh, let's see. Yeah, the Pope really likes us. Okay, my rash is finally gone. Range betrothal between myself and the Prince of Lombardy, who is heir to the Duchy of Ivrea and owns no land and has middling stats. Nope. Afraid not. All right, Prince Clef, uh, who is not heir to anything and has no land and is frail and homosexual and cruel. No, not going to happen. He's going to try to betroth me to everyone in his court. Uh, he wants her now. Yeah, sure. <laughs> so this is my friend who is... Daughter of Rumtreda. I don't even remember who that is. Uh, Rowdy Willful. Yeah, we'll obviously make her a soldier. Regency has ended. I became a brilliant strategist. War is a continuation of politics. Uh, I like getting things done. Um, I am going to... Gain diligent and possibly stressed. Okay, so I'm stressed and depressed now. Um, yeah, so that means... I'm going to take the carousing focus to try to get rid of those. And also because I could use some extra diplomacy. So this is Queen Gwencore. The newly... Uh, out of Regency, I forget what that term is called. The, the warrior queen... Of the Britons. She probably has the best stats of any ruler we've had since Arthur. And I'm going to call it for that session today. There will still be a full set of episodes this week, but this is all I'm going to be recording for today because I have some other stuff to work on. Thanks for joining us. Much more of this to come. I have every intention at this point of unless it stops being interesting playing this file all the way up to you know 14 44 and possibly beyond so be sure to check out loresworn.com at loresworn order is our twitter handle my twitter handle is at asa tj that's a s a t j and we'll be back with more crusader kings 2 the return of arthur and the subjugation of these last two Welsh independent holdouts. Ah, oh, shoot. He's a tributary of Wessex now. Yeah, we'll have to... We'll have to do something about that. And we'll see you then.